What's up, Trendsetter Gang? It's Taco Tuesday! So, y'all know in my previous video, right? Like, I made the walnut meat and everything, so I'm going to show you how I made the tacos. Now, the, the taco shells, let me show you. The taco shells are... Um, these are corn tortilla shells. These are vegan. They're not alkaline, but again, I told y'all I go in between vegan and alkaline because my goal is to get to, to be all the way alkaline, okay? So these are the shells. These are the corn, corn tortillas, okay? And I'm going to show you how I do them to make them flavorful. Um, so I'm going to get two of these. Right? Taco Tuesday. Yes. Okay. So what I do is I get a little bit of butter and put in my little pan here. I got a little pan, a little pan right there. And I'm going to put a little butter in the pan. Hold on. Let me get it warmed up again. And this is the meat. I told y'all about that meat. I got the meat here. And I'm going to go ahead on and put that in the pan because I put this in here to show y'all how I make it a little extra okay all right all right so it's getting hot I'm gonna put a little bit y'all see this butter and put a little butter right here that's not alkaline either that's vegan but we doing what we doing nevertheless I don't need this but I think I'm good. Well, I'll leave it out because I may need it just in case anybody wants more. Okay. So I got my cilantro. I got my green onion. I got my avocado. These are my toppings, y'all. I can't wait to put them on here. And I got, last but not least, I got salsa. Okay. And y'all know what salsa you do with onion, tomato, cilantro, um, garlic, and some lime juice, and some salt. And some people put pepper in theirs. I don't put pepper in mine. I put cayenne pepper, okay? Because I'm working towards being totally alkaline. So, trying to get off of that pepper. Unless it's ground pepper. You can do, I think you can do ground pepper. I think Dr. Sevy says that we can do the ground pepper that you have to, um, that you have to grind up as you putting it on not the already fine finely chopped or uh, grinded uh, that's already in the uh, stores okay so I get a little butter I melt the butter in the pan and I get my tortilla right let the butter cook a little bit put the tortilla in here don't worry it's gonna get a little flimsy and wet it's okay it's okay we're gonna let that do what it does and let me sh let me clean up a little bit because I think I done made a big mess. But it's all for the G O O D. And I got some more meat. I'm gonna make some more tacos. I'm just doing this on video with y'all. Hey, I'm so excited about these tacos it's taco tuesday baby yes god yes taco tuesday now, now y'all wonder why i got this paper towel that's to drench all the but that's to get all the butter off you know you don't want them to be soggy you want to have a little you see how brown that is you want to get a little brown on just a little bit of brown on the tortilla itself you stick it on over there i think i got that up too high okay you stick it on over here and just pull, put the paper towel on top of it. Just you want to get, you know, drain it and get the butter and all this stuff. You want to have a little brownness to the shell, you know. Yeah, we want a little brownness on it. Like it's been on the grill or something. You know how you go to the Mexican restaurants and it's on the grill. You know, they kind of give it a little, it's got a little bit of a little brownness on it. Yes, God. Okay. And let me get another paper towel because I got a clean one over here. Okay. And so this is what I like to do. I put one on top, but I put one in between. And then get you one on top. Okay. 
Let me flip this over. Yep. And if it get a little brown on it, don't worry about it. It's cool. Okay, don't burn them. But, you know, get a little brown on there. Alright. We got a little brown. We good. We're going to cut that off. Okay. So, I'm going to bring my meat up here. Let's go on and stir that little meat up. And you can, when you're cooking this, you can add a little grape seed oil or, add, you know, add a little water. You know, just a tidbit of water. Maybe like a tablespoon or maybe a couple tablespoons. I mean, yeah. A couple teaspoons or tablespoons. Um, Just a little bit. You ain't trying to drown it out. Okay. I'm doing a short video because this Taco Tuesday night, so I'm making tacos so you know my daughter and you know her boyfriend so i'm making tacos so we're gonna be eating those so I, i'm doing this video i'm trying to get out of y'all way because i'm i'm ready to eat myself i done made everybody else's so i'm ready to eat. i'm ready to eat okay let me, I'm going to get my little paper plate. Yes, we're using paper plates. Y'all should. Two people get tired of washing dishes. I know we in quarantine, but don't nobody want to be washing no dishes every day. Y'all know what time it is. Don't act. Like I said, y'all can make manwich with this. Like earlier today, I put this between some wheat bread and I just had a blast. Okay? So you got your two shells and fold them up. You know, kind of give it a little light folding. And it's going to fold when you get when you get your meat you get your meat and then I'm going to cut this meat off got that okay so we got this we're going to throw the little paper towel down on that little last shell let's flip it over right here okay And y'all know it's got onions and bell peppers, you know, just like you would, you know, doing tacos or doing spaghetti. My mama made it the same way, so this is how my mama make it. I put on, I put cilantro in here, but I still, I'm still gonna drizzle some more cilantro on top. Um, put you some green onions. Get you some green onions, okay? Put it on top right there. Now, that's your pico de gallo. See that? Look at that. Oh, that's delicious. Okay, and then we're going to, this is going to be our sour cream. And y'all know what I use for sour cream. Let me see if y'all can guess while I put it on. And you guessed it right. Avocado. That's my sour cream on top. The avocado right there, that's my sour cream. Don't that look tasty? So, let me bite into it. Oh boy. Oh, this is I'm so excited. And you can squeeze, oh, I forgot to tell you, you can squeeze lime on it. Um and put a little bit more. I got a little bit of cilantro right here. If you want to drop some more cilantro on there, that's fine. You want to get a little piece of lime. I put lime in the um in the uh pico de gallo. The you can some people call it salsa, some people call it pico de gallo. Okay. It's the same. Get you a lime. That's what I'm going to do for my next taco. I'm going to squeeze some lime on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. One th Let me tell y'all. Y'all be sleeping on lime. <coughs> lime is so good, y'all. It is so delicious. And it just get your taco or your dip that extra the extra kick. I just give it the extra kick. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. And I use my lime for salt. I use it as salt because it's so good. You squeeze enough. 
for you to get that salty taste, that little taste that you want to make your dish flavorful, and it's delicious. I'm just going to pick this up with my hand because that's what I do with all the tacos. I did this even when I was eating meat. <coughs> Eat with your fingers. They clean, and I'm at home. Quarantine 2020. Don't let nobody say you're no different. Mmm, so good. If you're going to quarantine, you need to do it like that. Okay? Mmm. 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 Yes, I'm eating like a savage, honey, because I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Yes, God. I got videos coming for you. I'm having some technical difficulties, but I'm going to work it out. This is so good. Mm. So here's my other shell. Put my little walnut meat on here. Y'all. You ain't had nothing. You see what I'm saying? Mm -mm. You ain't had nothing. Oh, that's so good. Oh. The one, the taco that I'm going to put lime on, y'all probably won't see that because I'll be off camera. So I'm going to make this other one. I haven't been around y'all in a while. I had done a video and I'm sorry. But I'm getting back to it. Having some te technical difficulties, but that's okay. I will get through. Oh, this is so good, y'all. I call this an alkaline taco because everything on here is alkaline except for the shell and the butter. But we don't eat butter. Every day, and we don't eat corn tortillas every day, so I think alkaline you can sometimes, you know, it'll sometimes go into vegan mode. Like one lady put like vanilla flavor, um, vanilla, um, vanilla seasoning on something she cooked. If it's once in a Every whatever, it's not even, it's not bad. But if you're doing it all the time, then it's not cool. If y'all have questions for me, don't be ashamed to ask questions. I'll be glad to talk to you about alkaline and vegan and all that kind of stuff. Y'all. <laughs> I am hungry and this is delicious. I had my mouth watering for this one all day. Mm. You know how you make something you don't think you're going to taste right? I didn't think that the walnut meat was going to be so good, but it is. And you should try it. Maybe I'll do another video where I actually grind it up and show you I told you about it in the other video and I showed you how to cook it here on the stove but next time I do it and maybe show y'all how to do it in the blender but you should know how to do that I mean it's pretty easy so um that's it for Taco Tuesday Trends of the Game I love you don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also, do not forget to click that notification bell so you will know every time I upload a new video. Taco Tuesday! <laughs> y'all know Cinco de Mayo coming up, so y'all better get on it. You know what I'm saying? So, yes. Um, I hope y'all are having a good time making this. Um, maybe you want to make it for Cinco de Mayo. Maybe you want to just make it for your families. And, you know, let's get into it. You know, walnuts, um, they're saying some of the meat plants are going to be closing, you know. So, you got to find your other ways to make meat. And 
make it tasty and flavorful so i just want to help y'all come up with some meals that um that are healthy that'll help you build your immune system that are flavorful that are very cost effective good for the body your skin changes um y'all know i had a little allergic reaction so it's still clearing up and it's doing pretty good too it's, it's coming along right nice um and just you know Keep your immune systems up during this time, you know, because we don't know how long we're going to be doing this. But just keep your mind, move your body. I worked out today. That's why I'm looking like Boogie City. I worked out yesterday. Like, I, you know, move, eat things that are going to be good for you. And you won't have to worry about no depression and all of that. You feel good. Your body feel good. So, anyway, I didn't want to make this video too, too long because I'm getting ready to make me some more tacos. But I love you guys, and stay well, stay healthy, meditate, move your body, eat healthy food, stop eating all that out-to-eat stuff. That's okay sometimes, but not all the time, okay? I love you, Trendsetter Gang, and I see you on the next video. Mm -hmm. Bye!